<laughs> yes, awesome. Right, how is everyone doing? Um, now, uh, right, yes, rock and roll. We, we got, I, I got really good, so a really exciting part um, uh, yesterday, but then I got called away to play board games. I mean, that's not the end of the world because I love playing board games. <laughs> but so, I mean, if this was a, if this was a, um, uh, like, if, the, if this was like a, a sort of cliffhanger or a soap, that wouldn't have been the biggest um, uh, cliffhanger ever. Oh, KO2 okay, fan, let's rock. How is it all going? Ah, oh, yes, awesome. And I bet a, a quick disclaimer I do apologise. I forgot to actually turn the stream off yesterday. So, uh, you're, <laughs> so I've got this like 11 hour uh, stream. <laughs> it's like, oh, hang on a sec. Because the only way that I found out that I'd actually stopped streaming was because I was trying to publish the video. And it said, would you like to publish the video? I was like, yes, okay. And then it just it didn't. That's the only way which I could work out. And I was thinking, oh, I need to actually stop streaming here. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, I do apologise. And if ever you look at that massive long video thinking, oh, I wonder, how, why did this go on for so long? It's because I was streaming for four, four hours and then I just forgot to turn off for eight. <laughs> you know, um, so anyway, apologies for that. Um, we left we left everything on a oh man this was a cliffhanger um, a proper cliffhanger so um, let's let's see if I can quickly sum up everything that we were trying to do um, how far we've got and what we're going to do this stream so um, this is <laughs> the ore saga we're on episode two <laughs> um, hopefully we can get this all done right so what is <clears throat> what is the ore saga the ore saga is um, uh, we want to have the ability, when you um, uh, defeat a monster, uh, you will always get some gold, you'll get some um, uh, rumple tokens, um, but I want the ability to make it so that you'll also get like an option of one or one of two things, right? Um, and that will be, and what we'll have, we're going to have like, say, for example, get, um, uh, add a card to your deck or add 75 gold um you know get a card to your deck or something else right um now what i was trying to do um last stream before um i started playing um, a serious amount of board games was just visually make it right and then worry about the code afterwards um so that is that's what we're looking to do um uh, today so we're looking to actually just get this whole or thing so I kind of want to make it so that when you have picked one of them the other one dissolves as well at the same time um, I hopefully that won't be too hard but first of all before we can get anything we want to get the visuals right now I made I, I gave it a quick shot but at the end of the stream I couldn't get it to work um, but we're gonna see if we can make it see it first of all that's what we're gonna work on now so visuals um, Right now, this might be this code looks a bit rubbish, but I'm pretty sure I think it's I think it's fine. Yeah. So what we've got here, we've got this um, uh, top trans priority, right? That is going to be a float that is going to be somewhere between zero and one, right? And we're going to um, essentially give it the and we want this or symbol to be in between. Um, the two like decisions that you you want to make um and so like and i was hoping that if i got the position of the top one and the bottom one i could just have it in the middle and it would kind of work at the moment it's not seemingly working but we want to kind of test and try and work out why that is the case so um uh one thing that i've also done um let's see if i can find it uh over here I just added this quick line of code right so this is just making sure that um, that we're on the correct layer so we're just changing the layer name to whatever this um, uh, yeah we, yeah we're essentially changing the layer so it's it should be fine um, oh wait a sec oh I know what's wrong oh wow hold on did I really make that mistake so the reason that it's not staying in between the correct places is because um, oh no ah no okay sorry apologies we, it looks like we have done this um, find all references I thought we just hadn't called this <laughs> this um, function yeah we have sorry so um, so what we're doing is we're telling this or script to go in between these two base trans okay i have called the function so we can do some experimenting experimentation 
uh, to see if it works. Um, yeah, and we might find that the uh, picture, that the actual ore symbol is really small, but we'll we'll work it out. That's uh, oh yeah. Oh, hold on. I've got to quickly. I've got to actually set it up. So um, if we go over here, I just need to. So what we're doing, I'm saying, is a boost ready because the code is essentially all the same uh, for regardless of whether you kill a monster or activate a boost. Um, <coughs> Sorry. Um, uh, so, yeah, we just want to have, say, uh, no, actually, let's go add a card um, or, or <coughs> um, upgrade a random card. I'm just going to go one and one. I don't think any of this matters too much, but I kind of want to just put it in to be on the safe side. Um, oh, yes. And you know what? Um, Okay, right, so at the moment we can't see the ore symbol, um, but we want to work out where it is. So um, let's see if it's anywhere obvious. It might, it might be right at the bottom. There it is. Okay, so, so why is that not the place that I want it to be? <laughs> um, and why is it behind everything else? Um, that's very weird. Okay. Um, now, what I kind of want to do as well, so it's saying it's this position right now, um, and but in theory, it should be in the midpoint between these two. Um, so let me let me see, right, if we go uh, play focused and we continue, right, um, like I say, I feel like I've done the code. Um, if I just click here, um, and we've got, Right, this one here. Right, the base trans is this, right? So in theory, this should be uh, the midpoint, right? Um, and we've got to work out why it isn't. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply move this up and down and see if this does move up and down proportion proportionally. Uh, does it feel like it's moving at all? Doesn't feel like it's moving at all. Let's go get this a little bit bigger. Um, so what we're kind of we're just having a close eye on that, seeing if this moves as this moves. No. All right. So I've clearly I've clearly missed something, and um, uh, and I was hoping there was going to be an error message that would point me in the direction as to what I've missed. Um, but uh, yeah, and also and the other uh, annoying thing is that for whatever reason, um, let's see if I can get it selected. Um, yeah, so these this sprite render hasn't dealt with that. So there's definitely something we're doing wrong here. Um, let's find out. Okay. So, um, Oh, uh, wait a sec. I think this bit, I don't think we're reaching this bit of code. Because um, what we're, if count is. So actually, I think, you know, sometimes when you do an if statement, I think I need to actually, I might need to turn it around so I can make more sense because there might need to be a less than or greater than because what we're trying to do, um, oh, in fact, what we just need to do is say, um, if I minus one is greater than zero. Right, is that what we need? I'm gonna just give that a shot, see if it works, and then we'll worry about, um, oh yeah, it's a, it's a bit frustrating because I've got to I've got to create this um, thing every time. Um, there's probably a quicker way of doing this. In fact, let me do multiple things at once so that we can, because I feel we're gonna be back on this screen quite a few times. So what I'm normally doing is I'm presetting it so that, um, we uh, like we're having to recreate this every time. But why don't I, to make life easier on myself, um, 
if we go into um, the map test edit script um, and we're just going to kind of change a little bit of the code um, and if I go is boost that's it is a boost ready okay so um, what we kind of want to do is temporarily just get rid of that and we want to have code let's just say this code here control C control B um, use this bit control C so we'll, we'll, we'll undo this comment but we just want to make sure that we're getting the same so we can keep experimenting multiple times because I do have a feeling this will take multiple attempts so what's happening over here um, yeah okay so this should be fine um, so let me just check to see if that does create um, the things that we need. Hmm. Sorry, and before I forget, let's do another thing. Um, uh, let's edit this, because it's getting a bit frustrating me turning the music off every time. Um, and I feel if I can just get that, you know, just nip that in the bud. Um, so upon awake, reset game, Go to definition. So what we can do is control C, control V, Z. I'm just going to temporarily turn that into false. All right, we'll swap, swap it back. Let me do. Oh yeah. change this back at some point I'm keeping this here so we know yeah and why don't we make this false as well um, oh yeah that's actually the more important one <laughs> okay so we're turning sound effects and music off just because I find it frustrating when the music's playing and we've got the music in the background um, so right um, now I just want to see if we're going to create a normal boost let's have a look let's see if we this works uh, But that's because I didn't save this here. So let's try this again. Because um, once we've got a normal boost, we can just kind of fit, we can just change um, the mild cola because I think it defaults to mild cola because that's the first in the list. Uh, yeah, mild cola. So, but this will just be the regular mild cola thing. Perfect. Um, uh, ah, okay. So I'm not exactly sure where it's getting the boost from. Um, oh yes, yes, I do know. Um, so again, we're going to do a little bit of testing. We're just going to say um, let me just work this out. We want to have um, right at the top here. Control C, Control V, passes equals. Of master script dot in 
instance dot um, let's get rid of the reward class, I might as well. Hmm. This feels like <laughs> um, I feels like I'm, I'm on the wrong thing. We just want to work out where the bit of code is, um, where we actually get the reward for the particular boost. Um, and I can't remember where that is, but we'll find it. Don't worry. Um, this looks good. This looks good. So, oh yeah, saw. So, oh, beautiful. I just need to go suit ball suit. Yeah, we don't need any of this. We just need to go over here. Sort boost rewards and have um, uh, boost type dot mild cola, and so that should hopefully sort out the problem. And then we close it like this, and then definition this one back to the party. And what we actually want is. Extra semicolon. So this is kind of fine now. So what? What? Why have I done all of this? Um, we we've just added a little bit more. Um, we've given. Um, we've added a few more rewards, entirely for testing purposes, um, so that we can try. We can essentially all of this was done, so that like I have a feeling this is going to take multiple attempts to get. But now we can. Um, with this code in place, and I'll actually do a little debug just to be on the safe side. Debug.log um, change this back with some exclamation marks. Okay, right, um, so now we can test it as much as we like. Um, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> uh, right, let's have a look. Yep, so here we've got all of this. Um, and this is actually, this is what I'm expecting to see. Um, what we want to do now is um, essentially, oh, 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 what's happened over here? Okay. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, okay. Why is it working now and why wasn't it working before? I'm not sure. Um, so... Right, it turns out <laughs> this is probably a little bit smaller, a bit too small. So what we need to do is let's just say I made that say five times five times bigger, right? And we actually have a look. Um, let me have a look on the, the main, the big screen, because maybe that's still a little bit too small. So we go um, maximized and let's go stop. Oh no, actually, um, or go. Because I kind of want, to, I'd rather change the actual physical sprites. So. Um, we can make the sprites bigger by making this number smaller. So if I did say 32 apply, that makes it, so let's see, yeah, I might make it 16 because we, I do, I, I quite like this little animation. <laughs> it's like, I kind of want to have any excuse to try and fit it in. Oh, okay. Right. Good start. Let's go make it twice as big. Um, okay. All right, this is starting. Okay, it's starting to do the thing that I wanted to do, so I'm really happy now. <laughs> okay, right. Um, so let's go make that 16 um, and play. Oh, I didn't apply. Yes, I do want to apply. Yeah. Right. Is this going to pay off? Is this going to look great? Yeah. Okay, that is exactly what I was trying to achieve. Um, by the end of last episode. So we finally actually got the thing. So as it is, um, so now this is another thing that we're going to experiment with, right? Um, I'm going to press this and I want this or to remain in the center while these ones move up. Okay. So, oh yes. Okay. Right. Even though we, we saw it there um, and these are still here, right? Okay. That's 
that's huge. That doesn't look that exciting, but the code that is being used to keep this at this perfect medium point um, does is is a bit more complex than it looks. <laughs> um, because so what we what we can do if I go back on play focused, um, 0 0.5 feels like it's the right one. But if we just continue continue here, we've got this priority thing that can actually move it up and down. Um, and hypothetically, if this um, was uh, further down here, it will always kind of stay roughly in the center. Okay, um, I definitely over-engineered this. <laughs> I'm not gonna try and hide. I'm not gonna try and say, mm, yeah, I, we needed this much code, um, but I'm happy. I'm happy with that. That is what I'm looking to do. It feels like, so the only issue that we've got, right, and I wanna see if this is the problem, is even though in theory it's not, it shouldn't matter, if I were to get rid of this one, right, um, and we try again, right, the ore should still appear, but I don't think it does. Um, and yes, and it doesn't. Um, so we, for whatever reason, we haven't, we can't activate it. Um, but that's, that's okay. Um, uh, I just need to go back into the code, um, Oh, where did I put it? Ah. <laughs> well, why don't I have a better system for this? Oh no, we put it in monster reward scripts. That's fine. Monster reward scripts um, or script. Okay, so um, and we're gonna go find all the references here. Head over here. Right. So there's um, a problem here. Because um, I, I just want to make sure that I have at least got the opportunity to put it wherever I want. So it looks like it works absolutely fine, um, provided you have another reward um, on top that that isn't an ore um, thing. And in theory, it, that, that should always be the case. But I don't want to just leave it there. Be like, well, it works, so leave it. I think we can make it. We can make this better. Um, so I do believe that we are accessing this bit of script, right? Um, oh, hold on. I think it's that. Okay. All right. Okay. Boom. All right. Has anyone ever done that before? Where you're just like, I think one equal signs there is going to fix it all, right? The reason being is because um, if you only have two rewards, right? Um, number zero is going to be like two rewards that are or number zero is going to create the um, uh, or game object right over there right and then um, when it comes around to the next one um, it's then going to say right so which will be number one um, and it says it so that'll be one is if one minus one is greater than zero, which it won't be. It will be equal to zero. Um, yeah, I think that's going to work. I reckon. I reckon we fixed it. I think we have. We have done it, and then we can start doing the code to dissolving all of the um, uh, the things at once. So I, th I don't think this will be too difficult. Right, let's go. Oh, it's quite nice not having to turn the music off. Yes. Okay, now, admittedly, as soon as I get rid of one of these, we, it's gonna create an error message because this bad boy is reliant on having these two transforms. So let's just, like, for continuity, let's go create the error message because I know it will happen. Yeah, boom, error message. Oh, actually, that's a good point. There's a way of making it so that it stops automatically um, when you get an error message. That's one thing that I want to do, and I just can't remember how, oh, error pause, boom, that's it, okay. Right, anyway, so that's what we're going to work on now. Um, uh, so, um, what we want to do, I think, if we go into the individual monster rewards script, it's going to be in here somewhere. So let's go to this definition. So this individual monster reward, reward script is the um, the rectangle that like has all the information of the reward that you're about to receive. Um, and... 
um, like and what we kind of want to do is um, on pointed down dissolve reward but we want to have maybe at the top here something like um, oh actually we can make it a bit spicier as well right so what we can, we can do one one better right <laughs> I'm gonna regret regret this I'm definitely gonna regret this <laughs> but why don't we make it so that the um, reward that you click just disappears smoothly whereas the ones that you have decided who you you've declined because um, sort of go away in a puff of smoke um, that's what we should do and I'm gonna do one more thing before we before we like we've got the script open so that's this is this is the good bit this is you know when you're like thinking this is the meaty bit I can't wait to get into this bit I'm looking forward to really you know it's like yeah we've had we're, you know I've gone through the I've gone through the broccoli I've, I've, I've eaten the I've eaten the beans now we're getting into the good the, the, the best part of the meal right this is it right um, Okay, so before we do any of that, I kind of want to, right, I'm going to do something uh, over here, right? Um, okay, um, let's go one. I think that's still fine, maybe. Okay, so what this will do, I just want to see if this is going to create two um, ores and if it works okay. I, d I genuinely don't know. Um, I think it should do. In theory, it should do. Um, yes, look, look at that, look at that. And so if I were to move this one up, uh, and that's the wrong one, if I was to move uh, this one up, then the ore kind of goes with it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, like I say, definitely over-engineered. <laughs> um, but now we want to make sure that when you click it and it's got this ore boolean, it destroys the others. So let's work on that now. Right, meaty, yes. Right, we're gonna get there. Okay. Um, <laughs> right, so what? how do we want to do this? So this is the um, dissolve reward routine. So let's have a little look. So normally what will happen um, is you're gonna click on it on pointer down. Um, it's just gonna check to see nothing else is occurring. Um, and then we're gonna start dissolving the reward, The um, yeah, the individual reward. Um, it's going to create a sound effects. Um, I made the dissolve time 0.25. Um, oh, looks like I even bounce it a little bit. I like that. I think that's one of those little. This is yeah. This is something that is um, when it comes to game development. I can't tell you how much a tiny little point like that makes everything. It's one of those things that no one's going to notice, but they will feel it. Right, it's you know, it's it's. I know I'm not saying that this is. <laughs> I'm not comparing my game to Dark Souls, but one thing that Dark Souls does is when you get hit or when you hit something, you know, it's things like the little screen vibration that you don't really notice, but but um, to give you like that's the thing. This is actually another interesting sort of talking point. Is there's a game that came out on I think it was actually maybe the PS4 a few years ago that was called like, Lords of the Fallen. And it was essentially, oh, Lake of Gaming, let's rock! <laughs> um, oh, wicked. Yeah, we're continuing the Ore Saga today. Um, but um, yeah, there's a, it's, it's, yeah, there's a game that was called like Lords of the Fallen, which was a bit like Dark Souls. And I was like, oh, I love Dark Souls. Maybe this game's gonna be like Dark Souls. And all I can tell you is it didn't feel like a Dark Souls game, right? It's like when you got hit, it just didn't, it, you know, it's like kind of, for example, when like when, when, you, when you get hit, you really want to kind of feel that you got hit. And when you hit some someone, you really want to feel like, a, oh, they, they get knocked. They're like, a, oh, you know, um, oh, wicked rock and roll. Yeah, I'm actually doing doing really well. Um, we played loads of board games. <laughs> and yeah, like I say, apologies for not actually turning the stream off. That is genuinely just embarrassing. I genuinely do like <laughs> I, I was just in such a rush. Um, uh, anyway, so like, um, so what's happening? So we're fading everything out there, which is fine. Oh, one thing that's interesting, since we've done all of this, we could actually like, cause this is slightly older stuff. I could um, use my um, function, which just makes everything fade away um, to make it look a bit more efficient, but that's okay. By the by, number of rewards, um, uh, 
that's all good. It then removes this one. Shuffle remaining rewards. Okay. Um, wait for that. Okay, right. So the reason I'm looking... Um, uh, oh, yes, and then it activates that reward. Ah, okay, right. So we kind of want... Um, another kind of dissolve routine that uses a lot of this code, but to make it, but it obviously is going to skip this bit. It's going to skip this reward master thing, and um, yeah, I think that's that's what we're going to kind of work on first. So um, let's go put a let's go put our routine together, um, and I, I think I've got a kind of quick way of doing that. If I do this, right, um, this is my, I, I know that was just me typing really fast. <laughs> it's my quick function. So this is going to be a, um, we don't want to call it dissolve because dissolve implies you're dissolving it and you're getting the reward. This is going to be like break um, or what's a good name? What can we use? What should we call this routine? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I just like, I, I was just so annoyed. I was like, ah. <laughs> Like, I just feel like an idiot. I feel bad because, you know, it's like I, I just have this worry of thinking, oh, I thought this guy was quite fun. Now he's just decided to put an eight hour stream of nothing. <laughs> um, right. Um, so, uh, I'm going to call it destruct. Pro there might be a better word we can use. And we'll call this destruct routine okay now we can use a lot of this code so let's just um, uh, copy and paste it and then just get rid of the bits change the bits that we want to change um, so and we want to make it clear that this one is being destroyed um, and also we have got to work out a way of um, getting rid of the um, ores yeah okay so um, yeah, so we've got a few things we've got to do. So um, we don't really need a sound effect. We might want to put one more of a sort of breaky sound effect, but that's fine. Um, the boinking we kind of need, but what I actually want to do is go like this, get rid of this and go mover.instantiate. Why do you default to that? No. <laughs> Uh, dot instance dot um, fun unsummon go um, we want to have our uh, oh yeah uh, I think it will just be uh, game object because the idea is you're actually putting an entire game object into this right uh, summon distance let's go 1.25 this might not work I might have to do Let's just go 1.0 for the time being. Um, the time to take is going to be um, dissolve time. But why don't we rename this because it's destruct. So rename it to um, destruct time. Um, so that should be okay. Um, and we are still removing this reward doing that and shuffling this. Um, Okay, um, and at some point down the line, and I haven't really worked out how to do this. In fact, yeah, so, because this is kind of like, and then we don't want to activate this. And it's very important that we don't activate that. So let's just turn that off for the time being. So now, um, so surprisingly enough, we're actually quite close. In fact, let's go make things a little bit more spicy. I think we can have everything exactly how, I, oh no. Hmm, okay, no, oh yeah, okay, right. I reckon I can do the, all of this in half an hour, okay? Um, I re I'm gonna give myself that goal. Um, is that half an hour? Oh, I haven't. Yeah, okay, right, let's go. All right, I reckon I can do this all, all, in, all in half an hour. Okay, so. Um, 
we're going to have um, this is just destroying the or script. It's not going to be anything exciting at all. We just have public void um, detach and destroy self. Um, and in, yeah, actually, we still need to make a function of it. So uh, private i enumerator detach and destroy self routine. Um, start coroutine detach and destroy self routine. And what are all the things that we want to do? <clears throat> First of all, we want to take middling, uh, we want to make middling false. So, uh, oh. so because at the moment, <clears throat> we kind of want to get rid of these or things before we start destroying the rewards or otherwise this is going to give us a, a problem. So middling equals false. All right. Um, int chum equals mover dot instance dot fade sr to color um ogsr color dot clear and it can be 0.25 doesn't matter and then we're going to do my classic oh i pressed the wrong button press the wrong button don't worry this one all right and then um at the end of this bit here, we can just have um, destroy okay, object. All right, easy peasy. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> like I say, I think this. I think this is going to be easier than I think. I think this is going to be pretty easy. So <clears throat> this reward master um, is yeah generic master script. So um, uh, go to definition. So this is where we can actually um, make a, a function that does all the things that we want, right? So we've got everything set up, but we actually want to do it all. So um, left a lot of spaces here <laughs> not sure why I'm sure there's a good reason but um, control N let's go right to the bottom control M O closes everything and now this is going to be the public void um, we'll c call it um, sort or stuff okay um, and what we want as an argument is let me um, nope, look at the wrong thing. This is what I wanted. Um, we actually, as far as arguments go, what we need to do is um, we actually want this as an argument, right? So we're going to have in individual monster reward, reward script um, INRS okay um, and we're going to have a private I enumerator um, sort or of or stuff routine and we'll also put this in how <laughs> I can't spell. okay individual yep I am R S I am yes um I'm, I one thing you shouldn't really make um scripts like you shouldn't really abbreviate because I've la landed myself in a lot of trouble before um, I am going to this time but it's kind of not the greatest you probably shouldn't um, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so start coroutine, sort or stuff routine, and we're putting that in. Beautiful. Okay, I'll put busy. So what we kind of want to do is we've just got to be a bit cautious. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to be... I've got to work something out slightly. Um, so, again, I always try and think of every problem that could possibly happen. So our general plan is, in fact, let's go, let's go put it on the green. Let's go put it all in green. First of all... Destroy all the or game objects. We want. Um, oh yeah, right. Uh, let's have a look. Right, get rid of that one. Um, destroy all the or game objects. Um, uh, destruct all the non. All, all the or um, the rewards that weren't picked um, dissolve the reward that was picked I think that's fine so these are all the things that we want to do um, the thing that I'm slightly sort of I'm cautious and aware of is what I would like to do is have busy equals true at the top and busy equals false at the bottom right um, uh, so um, just for the time being just so there's no error message I'm just going to put yield return now um, uh, just so that we're not getting an error message um, but the issue that I've got and again it's like this is why, why I'm sort of worrying about this is um, uh, when, like, as part of all of this, will have to involve shuffling, right? And um, I am worried that when you're shuffling, you're also saying um, you're changing this boolean. So, um, like, I think that our way around. Oh, we've even got an internal busy. Okay, so maybe here we could have, um, oh, brilliant, so bool, um, uh, we should have an argument here which is going to be called something like um, use internal busy um, equals false, okay, and then we want to have that as an argument, use internal busy, and then bool bool use internal busy again these are all really specific problems so now we can say something like um, if use internal busy then internal busy equals true else busy equals true and then let's go yeah I could probably use I probably don't need to have um, uh, eight lines to do that but that's fine control C uh, and then this one we're gonna just um, these one this one is gonna be false and this one is gonna be false right why have I done all that I'll explain um, so now we can have busy equals true busy equals false and we'll know that this shouldn't ever sh shift this should remain busy it should m remain true until the whole thing is done so <clears throat> so first of all we want to go through all of our um, Ah, oh, yeah, beautiful. Right, I was just checking we did have this. So this has got access to all the individual monster reward scripts. Um, and there's another little fun thing that I want to do as well. Um, so what we can do... Um, uh, 
yeah, like I say, testing loads of things at once. Okay, we're only 10 minutes, 10, 10 minutes in. I think I, I, I reckon I got this covered. Um, while we're doing this fun unsummon, um, I've got to remember, because I've got this really cool little... Um, uh, hmm. Right, I can't remember. I've got a particular function that means when you are fading something away, you can make it look like go into a puff of smoke. And I can't remember where the function is. My guess is that it's on here. Um, and if I go control F, ah, this is it. Create this one, this bad boy. Okay, right, um, create shaped particle effect. Okay, we can do that. Um, because I want to go, uh, so rumple level master script dot instance dot create shaped particle effect. Um, and Um, right, what's going on? Um, shape particle enum dot, uh, what do we want to look? I think tile graph is probably the right one. Yeah, that one looks fine. Okay. Um, parent trans. So what we actually want to do is attach it to our background, um, uh, our background trans, uh, no, our background SR, yeah. Um, oh, actually no, we can have the base trans there, and then we want background SR, and I think we do want to null the parent. So that would just mean that if it's moving anywhere, um, the graph will stay in the same place. So I think this is looking this is looking better. Um, oh, I think I might run out of water altogether. Right, um, yeah, so this is just a little extra taste thing that we want to put in. So now, um, uh, the fun bit. Okay, so we're gonna go uh, for int, int i equals zero, i less than underscore individual monster or, or oh no, wait a sec. Ah, ha 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 ha. Right, does this work? Huh. Oh yeah, okay. So you've got to be a bit cautious about this. Okay, right, we've got a spicy problem because what I'm looking to do, I'm looking to cycle through all these individual reward scripts and anything that's got or attached to it, um, we want to destroy. But then that is going to confuse things. Okay. Right, so, um, count. Actually, no, we can do this bit first. Okay, right, I've got an idea. Right, I think we might have to do two separate um, ores, but that's okay. So, first of all, let's destroy all the ores. Okay, so, if, um, underscore, individual monster or reward scripts, i dot, um, or, script is not equal to null then we want to say control c control v dot um, detach and destroy itself okay um, so I think we can do that pretty much all together that's that's just a quick thing but we're going to do something else which sounds a little bit um, uh, yeah, this isn't going to make a lot of sense, but it will. It hopefully makes sense when we finally get around. When I when I when I put all this code into place, and then we actually sort of do it, you'll see why I'm, I'm doing this. Hopefully, so we're going to have a uh, list of individual reward scripts that we probably should give it something like um, list. Um, let's call it the destroy. Destruct list. Destruct list. Okay. So, what we're also going to do is um, if 
right? And there's two conditions that we're looking to make. Uh, underscore individual monster reward scripts i dot or, right? So it's got to be in this bunch of um, rewards. Nope, I just want to... Oh no, hold on, no, I see the problem. Yep, yeah, it's not the or, um, it's... We just need access to the class, which I can't remember what I called it. Um, IRC. IRC dot or, and, um, underscore individual monster or rod scripts, I is not equal to the IMRS, right? So both of those conditions need to be true. Then we're going to say that we want that. That's exactly the code that we want. So now we have got a destruct list, right? So now we are going to, in turn, destroy all the um, the ones that we're looking to destroy, and then we're going to activate the dissolve thing. So hopefully, I mean, this might look really good. It might not. Um, uh, so now we're going to go four open brackets. I, oh, boom. Yes. Thank you, Bessie. Right. Okay. So this is just going to be as simple as saying um, destruct list I dot um, uh, destruct while destruct list I, I think it's dot busy yield return null uh, oh, 13 minutes okay I got this I got this um, so this is where we're destroying all of that and then at the end we can get rid of that we can then say imrs dot dissolve uh, dissolve reward Hopefully this will work. While IMRS dot busy you return now. So this might work. I don't know if this needs to this busy needs to be here. Because when we dissolve the reward, let's just go through these this thing. We're saying um, we're saying at this point to activate this reward, so go to definition. Oh, activate the reward individual. Think, right okay first test we've still got 11 minutes I don't think this all I, I just you know you know I've got I, I, I reckon I'm feeling about 60 50 50 percent sure well maybe 25 percent okay 25 percent chance that literally everything works perfectly right I that's that's you know so it's like I'm that seems like a realistic thing but um, what we want to do as well while we're here um, yeah okay so we've got three things that's that's good enough okay so right okay let's go in fact stop play maximize go on full screen let's see if we can absorb it right 25 percent chance that literally everything does the thing that we want um nope 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 no 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 not yet not yet um I realise I haven't actually, we've made this quite fancy um, uh, script, but we haven't actually called upon it. We haven't done this yet. So we need to find a place to put the, to fit this in. So if we go over here and we say um, here, we're going to say if irc dot or we're gonna do something else. We're gonna dissolve the reward. Okay, so if it's or, we're gonna say underscore 
reward master dot uh, I, I, why, why am I terrible at bringing shuffle remaining no it's not that one um, uh, saw or stuff saw or stuff um, uh, and we just want this as an argument Okay, right now. Um, now the only problem is I kind of want to make sure that we can't click on it again. So we're definitely we're definitely on the right wavelength. Because, I mean, I. Because, mm, mm. yeah, the thing that I'm worried about is when you click on this and you pick one, what's to stop you very quickly clicking on another one before it destroys itself? Um, okay, let's see if this works. Um, and. And then, kind of like, and then I'm going to try and create an error message afterwards. So, first of all, let's see if this works. Um, oh yeah, oh hold on, yeah, um, that's a really good point, I think, yeah, you're right, I've dro I'm dropping a bunch of frames, um, uh, hold on, I'll put it in the text because uh, it doesn't, yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> um, so look, yeah, so this is actually almost uh, unwatchable. Uh, hmm. Right. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to, I don't know if you are able to hear me, but I'm going to just try and see if I can sort of resolve this. Because I'm looking at my, yeah, uh, I'm looking at my, my, my sort of off screen to see if it's looking okay. Um, Hmm. Yeah, one sec. Okay, right. I'm, I'm not sure how watchable this is, but I'm going to keep going because at the moment it looks like, because I can see the frames dropping, um, but I, in my head, I think I'm still sort of legible. Um, what we'll do is, um, I'm not sure if it's worth me just like stopping and then starting. Um, I'll stick with it because I'm looking at my own personal live stream and it's feeling watchable. But, um, uh, like, yeah, if this is, I'm going to come back in a little bit because at the moment it's saying 5.7% of the frames dropped and that number is going up <laughs> along with the number of frames. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah okay because yeah <laughs> that number because normally like I say I haven't ever really run into this problem um, but yeah we'll see um, sorry okay right so um, this might be not quite as impactful uh, <laughs> with the with the terrible frame frame uh, drops but um, yeah like I say it's just never been an issue I've just magically I've been privileged enough to never have this as a problem so it's like ah, I wasn't right okay so let's just say we wanted to pick this one right Okay, clicking. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm kind of okay with that. And then hopefully we'll get back to the reward. And, oh yes. Okay, I know the problem. I think I know the problem. So it's not actually decided to destroy itself, but that's okay. Um, uh, like yeah so the only issue that we have now is um, uh, right. uh, so what we kind of want to do is wait for all of that and then right at the end um, in fact yeah we'll, we'll have to check another couple of things 
Oh, I don't think I can quite do it in the half hour. I think I've got enough. I've got a few too many things to do. Uh, anyway, I can only apologise for the frame drops. Um, yeah, right. So if I pick... I'll pick this one. That's that goes there. That comes back. But it hasn't unsummoned itself. So let's just have a little look. Open this bad boy. So... Yes, we can just put this bit of code at the end of it all. It should be fine. So, um, yeah. Oh. No, wait a sec. Yeah, so if I go control C. Um, oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, that's what I want. Okay. Yeah, so I've got that copied. I think we kind of want to say um, if that count is there, unsummon else busy equals false. And I don't love this, but I think that, that should be okay. Right, let's give this a try. Um, taking so long. Uh, oh, okay, we had a blink of the uh, uh, the frames actually looking slightly better for a second. <laughs> um, right, so let me pick, say, this one. That's the reward. Um, no, so we've still got the issue. Um, So this busy has become false, so that's fine. Okay. Um, so the thing which I'm a bit like, which I'm kind of confused about, is it implies that at this point, um, at this point, the count is actually. So if I just have like a debug dot log open brackets uh, underscore individual reward scripts dot count we want to just check what the count is there and control C kind of want to check it there as well all right so let's have another check but um ah, yeah unfortunately I've got to still do a bit more Sherlock Holmesing to get there um because I have a feeling that just for that frame, it's actually counting as one. Um, so that's the reward. Yeah, brilliant. Ah, okay. So it has got to the... Oh, wait a sec. So that's implying that it is on some... That's very confusing. Okay, now I am confused. So it's saying it's zero. So it's implying that it's going to here. Let's go to definition. Let's find out everything that's occurring at this point. Um, unsummon. Okay. Um, that's... That doesn't make any sense. Okay, all right, I love it. I love it. Don't worry. <laughs> this is this is what I this is where I thrive. I love all of this. So, um, if individual if the class count is equal to zero, so we do get to this point. So if I go into this definition, 
Um, I just want to confirm. So the slight issue that we might have, let's go. Ah, uh, okay, I think I know the problem. So we're currently on the boost reward screen. So it's we do this unsummon. Um, okay, no, so that still bounces over here. So what I want to do is just have... Um, uh, we're just going to have uh, something like, say, hey, guys, over here, right? And then we're going to go into... Go to definition. Uh, something, some, something as characteristic, saying something like, "Surfs up, uh, surfs up." Okay, right. So we want to know if all of these debug messages actually occur, right? <laughs> and which ones do and which ones don't. <laughs> okay. Um, this is just where I just pollute everything with as many debug messages to try and work out when it does the thing that I wanted to do and when it doesn't. <laughs> right. So we're hoping. Well, we want to know. That, that, that's the thing. This is gonna. This is gonna narrow everything down. So let's just pick. So this one. Oh, that would be a great card. Okay. Okay. Oh. How did I make that mistake? I am an idiot. Oh, wow, I'm, that is impressive. Oh my gosh, we didn't make it, but that was it. I, I, that's different to that, isn't it? I just didn't see that. Ah. Oh. Why would I have thought, why would I have ever thought? Oh. Oh, got it, got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess I can see why I did that. I just don't know. So, okay. So this, I think, will will fix the problem. We just need to have that there. Yeah, I know what I know why I did, but I don't know why they haven't been removed. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. So in fact, we actually want to keep that there. I know. Okay, yeah. All right, we found it. We found it. It took a little bit longer than I'd hoped, but we have found it, I think. Right, let's see if I'm confident. Look at that. This bit. So what we need is go kabam, control C. All right. Um, go into this bit here. And then... Oh, wow. Okay, all right. We've, we've got to the bottom of it now. Um, oh, it looks like the lag is actually better now. We just happened to drop 26,000 frames. <laughs> um, so here, we're removing this reward. reward. But we also want to, about here, go... We want to remove that IRC. Think this will work now so um let's just yeah we can each still i think i think we got it nailed now um yeah so the issue was was when we destroyed the individual reward um we removed it the actual individual reward script but the actual class which has all the information of the um reward itself we're supposed to remove from um the actual main like master rumble town rumble master script and we didn't do that um because yeah so i think i think we might be we might be in luck now so bam 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 so that's our reward <laughs> wallop and then it goes back in beautiful right it looks like the ore saga has come to, to an end um I like that. Right, okay, brilliant. Right, so we have, I think we've, the Ore Saga has come to an end, but we still want to test a few more things um, just to check that it works. So um, if I go back to here and we have, say, Control C, 
right? Um, and I want to see if we can get rid of this all stuff. Yeah, so this gives us a bit of flexibility to test a few things. So let's give this a try. So even though this doesn't look too exciting, I'm going to press this and that gives us a card. Great. Now I'm going to press, say, this one. That gives us a level three card. And now we can go bam. I still want to just check that it all finishes okay. And then we go back on, yeah, okay. All right, that feels like now that we've got the, um, uh, the code for the OR script is looking good. Right, I need to quickly use the uh, bathroom. I'll be right back. Right, okay, wicked. Right, so, um, uh, like, now what we kind of want to do, right, I have a bit of a plan. Um, I want to, um, so now that we've got that, we need to put that as a level upgrade because that's going to be one of the things that you get, you know. Right, um, so, yeah, oh, I'm so glad we've done that. I know the destruction, when it destroys itself, it doesn't look quite as good as... We kind of want it to look but i'm i'm okay with that <sighs> right i am definitely getting <laughs> i'm definitely becoming unfit it's like just the, the 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 trek downstairs exhausted me okay so um uh right let's go get rid of this so we've got the hey guys and surfs up um yeah i'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed that it took me that long to work out but that's that's life i suppose um, oh, so annoying. <laughs> Why can't it just keep those debug messages up? <laughs> um, no, you've got it changed. Get rid of all of them. <laughs> you can only do it one at a time. Um, right, so we want to just control MO, uh, unsummon over here. And when I see those more debugs, uh, that's um, and we'll come back to that in a sec. Okay, right, let's go switch all the things back because it feels like we've fixed those. So now that we have done that, um, we have actually tested fighting a monster to check that you actually, that it actually works. So we need a few things to do here. We're gonna go um, uh, map test script. Um, this was all just, we, we can get rid of this now. That was just purely so that we could just force ourselves to get a reward each time. And let's go, um, yeah, <laughs> just undoing all the things. So let's go get rid of um, all of this. 
don't need that anymore. That was just, again, why am I keeping all this green stuff? Do we really need it? Let's just go get out of here. I think it was just because this took me so long to work <laughs> to make that I was like, no, I've got so much pride in all of this, but nah, just get rid of it. Um, uh, then we're going to um, work on... Actually, let's do the something which has been needed to be done for a while. Um... Uh, actually, I can do the rest of this layer. Okay, so I think what we want is uh, a function, um, and we've got to come up with a good name for it. Um, and I don't know what the name's going to be. Um, I'll I'll just right. Okay. Um, uh, and it probably should have a sensible name, even though I want to give it a funny name. Um, we're going to have a function here that the purpose of, of it is you... It's got... It's going to have two arguments. It's going to have an integer and a decimal, right? So that decimal is more than likely going to be 0 0.1, okay? Right? And what that's essentially saying is... We put an integer of say 100 in right and it being 0 0.1 means that um 0 0.1 of that 100 is 10 right and we want to return a number that is um somewhere between 90 and 110 right so it kind of like gives you a little bit of a randomness this is so that when you're at the shop not everything is always going to cost either 50 or 100 or 150. Um, and I feel we could just have, because this is the master script, this has just got quite a lot of useful um, functions that you can use for other things. So, um, public, oh, it's on caps, public int. Um, right, okay, we'll change it. If, if anyone can come up with a good name, for, a good function name, um, but we'll call this for the time being. Um, oh, why, oh, why am I wasting so much time thinking of a name for a function? <laughs> right, okay. Um, uh, Benny the Integer Modulator. Okay, that's a terrible name. <laughs> if I do something really bad, someone else can come up with a better name. <laughs> Int, um... Right, uh, int to be modulated and float um, decimal. Okay, so um, int um, modulation amount equals uh, equals math f dot um, seal to int and that will be a decimal times that but I think this integer does need to I need to state that this is a float I don't know if I need to but I feel happier doing it that way okay so that's the modulation amount now. Um, uh, int rando equals random dot range somewhere between minus modulation amount and modulation amount. And then return um, int to be modulated plus rando. Okay, now um, all of that's kind of fine, but there is actually an argument I need to do this. 
Right. The reason being is the way this random dot range works is it comes up with a number. Let's just say you do it between 0 and 10. And it will say, tell if you do 10, it will say that the numbers that you can get are 0 up to 9 and not including 10. Whereas I kind of want that to be uh, uh, viable. So now that we've done that, um, we need to find the shop. And actually, while we're here, let's go... Um, over here um, we're gonna uh, get rid of this one and we're gonna have iron encounter stop shop okay so we're gonna give ourselves a shop so uh, the first time and um, we just want to get to the shop get the individual shop things and make sure we do Benny the integer modulator um, uh, at the shops. Right. Um, uh, shop stuff. Shop stuff. Okay. So individual shop card. Um, we might need to go into this script here. Edit. I think this is all fine. So when we're actually getting this coin cost. Um, set values. What we want to do is actually have coin cost equals master script dot instance dot uh, Benny the integer modulator <laughs> um, coin cost and then uh, how much how much variance do we want so 0 0.1 would mean it could go 10% either way would it make it more spicy if I did like 0 0.2 um, Because, yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to test to see not only does do the numbers come up and everything works, but we then um, uh, we then want to actually see if um, it actually costs that much in the shop as well. So we we'll need to sort of give us give ourselves some money as well. Um, so uh, that's good. Um, Uh, so now that we've got that bit, which is brilliant, and I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, like 0 0.2. I mean, like, I know not many people are like, oh, is this going to be 0 0.1 or 0 0.2? It's, but um, I quite like that level of spiciness. Um, uh, so that there's just a little bit more. There's just, you know, because a lot of people, and I agree, I'm completely in agreement with this. There is that excitement of having just that little bit of randomness where you're just like, oh, I got a little bit lucky there. Um I, yeah, I just quite like that. So um, over here, we want to have um, coin cost. Let's just find all the references. Um, so this is the individual shop item script. Uh, so um, let's have a look. Uh, set values. Find all the references here. Okay, this looks a little bit more complicated, but it's not really too hard. Um, we just need to have... Um, oh yeah, because this is when it's picking the random things. So here we just need to have master script dot instance dot Benny the in in <laughs> integer modulator um, 100.2 f and then we can just change it do the same again but have uh, that to be 50 50 and this one to be 50 as well um, so it can be as low as uh, 40. Yeah, which doesn't make it sound too exciting. So that's fine. I'm, I'm, yeah. 0 0.2 is the, is the level of spice that we're putting into this. Okay, good. Um, right now, we want to go into here. 
set values for construct. Let's go. Um, ah, right. Why don't we make things a little bit spicier, a little bit more interesting? Um, I will kind of want to make it so that certain constructs are just better because there are constructs that are just better than other constructs. And I think the value here should reflect that. Um, so if I have, um, construct type, what does set cost do? Okay. So maybe we have um, coin cost equals that, and then switch uh, construct type. Uh, I don't know why. What I should be doing is setting this to begin with, and then changing it. That's oh wow! What have I done here? This is ugly, isn't it? Right. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Right. First of all, let's go rename that at least to something like underscore construct type because you really shouldn't be having variables that have the same name as the actual type of variable. Like that's like yeah. Why don't we just call <laughs> uh, int int? You know that's that's that is dangerous territory. I mean, this might create error messages elsewhere, but I'm still sticking with my guns here. That is absolutely like why. What a terrible thing to do. Um, so now we can have underscore construct type, um, switch underscore construct. Uh, we're, this will, yeah, okay. Um, right, okay. Case construct type dot. Um, uh, I kind of want to just go in numerical order. Um, I was hoping, um, yeah, right, now, okay, uh, coin cost equals, so the corn heart farm, I think that's worth a good hundred, um, and break, and now we just need to do all the others, um, now there's, is there a, is there a lazy way of doing this? Because uh, I kind of want to have, I want to have a separate price for each construct type. Um, uh, no, can't think of a lazy one. We'll just do the, um, uh, how many are we up to? We're up to eight, nine, and ten. Uh, Cornheart Farm. Oh, I see. It's got it all in... Um, so if we just go like this, I kind of wanted just it to be in numerical order just to make sense of it. Um, so construct type, so Chuck's exhibit, Chip's barracks, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I might not have quite as much energy as I did <laughs> uh, yesterday, um, despite how much caffeine I'm drinking. <laughs> how did I come up with the name Dark Stranger Ranger and Stranger Granger? Okay. Uh, actually, no, I remember now. <laughs> um, Hannah Kev Protector Station. So yeah, this is, now we've got this all in front of us, it should be a little bit smoother, so. And what we actually could do, I don't think it's entirely unreasonable. Let's actually do one better as well. Why don't we have on this uh, script here, 
we could actually have a function saying get the cost of a construct. And we could just do all of this here and say, yeah, I think that's fine. So, public int get cost of construct. Yeah, I'll put the word randomized so we know we're doing the randomizing here. Oh no, actually no, get, um, get, actually we'll call it unrandomized and we'll do the randomization in here. Get unrandomized uh, cost of construct have um, a construct type, construct type. And then why don't we just chuck all of this, control X, chuck this in here, and then control Z, and then we're just gonna have switch. Um, oh yeah, we just need to go into Coin cost equals 150. Right, that's good. And then we just go return coin cost. Okay. So now we can say um, coin cost equals um, get equals master script dot instance dot get unrandomized and we put the construct as an argument there and then even though this does look a little wordy we could then just have equals um yeah this is awfully wordy but that's fine master yeah this is but it's it's wordy but it, it does do exactly what i want it to do um any of the inter 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 modulator and then we're just going to go 0.2f I need to put a comma there okay so now we can just have a look at these so how good is each one so um, we're pretty sure B and Bear uh, card emporium is probably the best one there so I'm happy for that to cost 150 corn heart farm maybe 75 um, Chuck's exhibit a 125 I think that's very good uh, Chips Combat Barracks, 75. Archer Boys, 75. I'm making sort of judgment calls here. Um, yeah. Um, I think Hannah is maybe 100, because that is good. And Kev, another 100. Protector Station, I think, should be 150. We also got to change the name of the Protector, change the wording of the Protector Station, because a bit which I haven't explained at any point is um, uh, is that it actually starts activated, <laughs> um, uh, and yeah, so that like no player will know that it actually starts activated, um, which yeah, I think probably is worth mentioning. Right, so um, that's kind of changed the thing here. We're setting the values there, setting the cost. So we're going to go to the shop and see if um, see if it all works. Okay, right, no. <laughs> oh no, error message is gone. Um, and what we kind of want to do as well, I'm going to press pause. Uh, we're going to go over here. We're just going to give ourselves, say, um, uh, mob tokens. Somewhere here we've got gold coins, so let's just give ourselves a thousand gold coins. Um, so we can experiment, see if all the numbers work, see if everything kind of works out. So here's our shop. We've got a thousand coins to work with. Oh, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay. The numbers, the numbers are good. Okay. All right. All right. So um, let's do this one first. Yep. Brilliant. Uh, and it has cost the 40. So... Um, Nuclear Defense, absolutely brilliant card, love it. Uh, yeah, this is much better. Um, let's go upgrade this. Yeah, okay. We could probably make this tick a bit faster, couldn't we? Oh yeah, we can't click on that. 
yeah, just while the other things were loading, which is fine. Let's go get rid of one of these. Don't worry, I'm not actually going to play this game. I'm just kind of like, um, just kind of experimenting, really. I suppose there should be some sort of, um, so that refreshes everything. Let's get some more life. Um, yeah, and that one, after playing 50 cards, it becomes active. Um, yeah, I want to just reword that. I've got to remember how to actually do that. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm pretty sure we have fixed the shop. Um, I just, I love, I love the randomness. I just think, I think it just makes it a little bit more exciting. A little bit more like, you know, because I know that feeling when you're playing Slay the Spire and you're just like, oh, that's cheaper than it should do. That I'm going to go for that. Okay. Right, fantastic. Um, right, we have, we're going to, um, <laughs> uh, Change this back at some point. Oh, that's that bit. Okay. I'm seeing what debug messages I can change, um, but that one I want to remain. Um, let's have a look. Let's go. Just get rid of that for the time being. Um, right, debug. We're doing specific ones. Oh, yes. Yes, that's a good point. Um, so, what... Um, And why don't we just turn it back to its original form? So, uh, random dot range somewhere between zero. Returning monster enum equals. Oh, yes, hold on. I, I put this in the wrong place. Um, And that will be monster list dot count. I think that's fine. Okay. All right. So I'm yeah, it looks like we're kind of working our way through getting things sorted. Um, I think the next thing that I want to do is um, find a space, <laughs> find a good space. And we've got to work out when do we want to introduce the whole ore mechanic, like what rumple level. That's what we're kind of like thinking about now. So let me go on to here. And then we've got to, yeah. I don't know how much stuff needs changing. <laughs> um, Uh, and how are we going to make the how are we, what are we going to make the sort of animation look like? Um, let's work this out. Okay, so um, so actually, another thing on the to do list that I want to do is every time. So the first time you unlock boost cans. And all these times when you're adding like um, Splendor and Lucette, um, you'll also actually add one of these to your boost pile. Um, that's what I'm looking to do. I don't know if, uh, yeah, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that, but I'll, I'll work it out. Um, For the time being, we're looking to introduce the ore mechanic. Um, so, oh, of course, we've got it all in this destiny text box, apparently. Okay, right. Um, yeah, let's get rid of some stuff. It looks like. All this stuff here is done, don't need that. Um, let me guess we add this. Okay, so um, the 
width, so maybe... Yeah, I want to add that card before. So maybe we could fit it in here. So... Um, yeah, case. Let's just put it in and then we'll work, work out the numbers in a sec. Return... Uh, um, how, how do we word this? It's going to be something like um, uh, on certain monsters you are given more reward options. So if we were to just fit this in here, um, we'd have to, is that, there's got to be an easier way of fitting this in. Do I have to change all the numbers? Um, I think had I done this differently, um, I, reckon, I don't think that would, would have been the case. Um, and is there an easier way of doing this? Um, So I guess if this is six, 16, okay, move this up here. Nope, not quite like that. Um, on certain, um, after defeating certain monsters. Now, <laughs> we've just got to kind of deal with the, uh, how many things do I need to change? Because like, that's the thing, I do plan on having more Rumpel levels and more exciting things to occur. Um, but I've got to work out how much effort it is to add a new one in. Um, so, we'll stick with that for the time being. Um, then, over here... We put this as seven. So crumple level is greater or equal to seven. And then I think I just need to change all these one to go one up. So nine, 10, this does definitely feel inefficient. I know I'm, I'm, as I'm doing it, I'm thinking this doesn't, this doesn't quite feel right, but um, and you know what, let's just put this one back in. Although, I think that actually needs to be... That needs to be 15. Yeah, because, yeah, this is this is the hyper fire. That's the thing where it's like, you can now get a mega boost by combining combining five of the same boosts together that's like this is this is future stuff i love this idea but um, i haven't you know this more just like in the future that's what i want to put in but i'm not going to do that today um so that's part of the problem um it's so control this And at this point, summon title text box for level upgrade. So this bit here, I think, is where it shows the like reward. Um, and this was it. This is what I want. This is the important thing. Okay, so if we. Um, go to definition. Right, and how do we want to show it? <laughs> how do we want to? How do we want to visualize it? I think I just have a massive thing saying "or" um, and it flashing. I don't think it needs to be anything too exciting. We just need to make sure that it's big. So. Um, uh, 
So, um, it should be here. Um, yeah, this is this, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a little bit more awkward to work out. Let's just have a little look. So we're looking to sort of rearrange it so that when we know it's level seven, um, let's just I'll do the same thing in case one 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 break. Um, Level SRs. Um, I suppose we can do whatever we like with these, can't we? Um, yeah, let's go. Let's copy code from one that's quite easy to do, and then um, just change it to what we want. So I think we can we can use something like this, but just change all the numbers. Should be fine. Um, right, so so we only actually need one here. So level F size equals that. That equals instantiate that. Um, and what we actually want to do is say um, int charm. Actually, we don't even need that. No. Yeah, actually, yeah, we just want to have um, Aaron dot instance dot um, play dot instantiate instance dot play ping pong continuously um, level SRs zero. Um, Animating sprites, so it's going to be resources dot load all sprites from a place that we'll find out in a sec. Um, finishing sprite doesn't matter, and anim speed is zero point one. So this is once we've actually got the right thing in there, that's fine. We can get rid of this. Don't need that. We're making the color equal to zero, and we are fading the colour to there. It's like we're boinking the size. Don't think we need to do any rotating. So let's just get rid of that. Um, and move to point local. I think we can just have it as zero. But boink to size. How big do we want it? I think it probably needs to be a Let's go, let's try six. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, just want that bit as well. Uh, so I can just go like that. So yeah, like I said, it might be too big. Now we just need to sort out the levels. So I think if I just change this one to seven, and then we just update everything else. So it's seven, eight, nine, 13, 10, 11, 14, 15, and 16, yeah, 16, that's fine. Okay, all right, um, so now we want to check that this level up works, but I have a feeling there's still other things that we need to fix. I feel other things might not be aligned correctly. So, uh, so control S there. Um, 
Yeah, because I'm thinking of what what other good sort of level boosts, what level ups do we want as well? Um, so, like that's that's more like future thinking because it's like it turns out it's a little bit of a pain to introduce a new new level, but I want to know if there's more pain to come. <laughs> essentially, is there more things that we need to do? So, Rumpel level master script. Um, so, find all references. Uh, that's okay. We've kind of. I just gotta be a little bit cautious. If I go find all references. Ah, ah, yeah, find all references. Um, there's gonna be loads here. Um, 23. So, let's just move this all the way up. So, this is all just sorting out the. Um, like when a particular level is ready. Um, this is sorting out all the data, that's fine. Oh, hmm, thought there was gonna be more. Um, okay, the issue that I'm trying to work out is how do we find out the cost? Um, how, how much something costs, it might be here. Um, Create level up things. Ah, uh, uh, yes, okay, that's fine. But how do we find out the cost of the rumble level? Um, I mean, it feels like feels like that should be really obvious. Um, I'm sure I had a function, a big switch statement saying like to get to level like 12 or whatever it's going to cost this much. Um, but it's not super clear to me and I'm guessing, oh it's here, it's here, it's alright, relax guys, got it. Um, so, um, and we've actually got to have this discussion at some point um, because um, do you think it would? Do you think this is a fair cost of the Rumple tokens, or do you think I could make it a little bit more expensive? Because you start getting like you get more Rumple tokens as you go along. So let's just go one. Because I might, yeah, I might make this a bit more pricey. I like the I like the idea that the first few are quite cheap, so you can kind of get that sense of progression. Um, but. Um, yeah, we might need to change this a little bit. So, in fact, I think all of this kind of works out. Right, I think this is going to work. Right, let's go... Um, let's... Let's actually uh, try out... Try it all out. So, we, when I say try it out, I want to start a game afresh, right? I then want to fight a monster and check that there is no or option and then I want to then go back to the title screen give myself enough rumple tokens so that I can level up to get the or thing unlocked and then go into another fight win that fight again and see if um, the or option is then available um, so I think that whole thing will probably take me Actually, no, I'll be able to do it so quick. I'll be able to do it really quick. Right, so we actually need to start by going, um, you know, but I'll give myself a timer. Um, we'll say, we'll say uh, 15 minutes. I think I can do this in 15 minutes. Okay, so let's go into the title scene. Um, yep, yeah, sure, so, right. Now, first of all, we wanna go quick reset and then um, get rid of that. So, yeah. oh, actually. That's just taking a little while because it's got quite a few things to load, which is all good. So, what I always wonder, right, is the reason that there is that pause, that delay there, is in my head, when it's loading, for example, um, like it's essentially there's so much code that it's got to get through in this particular frame that it's taking a while and 
I don't know how load screens in computer games work really, but in my head, um, I have a kind of a sort of a suspicion that um, like it's every time there's going to be a certain function where it's going to change the frame of something and uh, every time it's loading and it will just kind of like and it will sort of cycle through because you know when you see a load screen you quite often see something animating so in my case it would probably if I were to make one it would probably be a bean that's walking right but it won't it's not going to be a smooth animation because it will just be when it gets to a certain point in loading it's going to click forward and do and going to click forward so it'll look it'll have that feel that it is actually loading but that's something that's you know something to think about for the future um right but what we're doing now is we are switching this off and then we're going to test everything right so um actually we can't quite we're, we're close we're, we're almost there <laughs> i forgot to turn a few things back um over here we want to just we don't need to test that shop anymore Okay, so we want to check that we don't get um, the, the, the opportunity to um, have a decision. So hopefully this will just be... Uh, oh, of course, it's going to be a random enemy as well. Jimmy Van. another thing that I want to work out uh, how we can save more data um, yeah still still gonna be sort of pondering that how we can save more data but if someone's already got a save file how why wait just check that it won't give any um, uh, error messages weird thing is we just literally just checking to see if um, uh, like there aren't any rewards and then we're gonna level up to see to make it so that we do get rewards yeah okay so that should be fine Turn the sound effects and music off for the time being. So, right, we don't want to see the ore rewards. <laughs> yes, okay, good. Right, so that's all fine. Um, uh, yep, skip all that. Might as well collect all of these. Right, now. <laughs> um, I can't really do the exact maths, but let's just say we've got, say, 5,000 rumble tokens. All right, now we're going to go back to the, um, oh yeah, of course, uh, back to title. All right, now we're going to level up. Um, we're going to check that the level up works as well. So um, that's our first level. Um, yep, yeah, that's all good. Yeah, and like I say, I want, when you first unlock it, I want you to just get two free boosts. Um, just to kind of like, you know, so, because there's going to be a lot of people who will have unlocked it, but won't have a boost. So that's the ability to buy boosts. That's good. So we're on about level four. This is bringing us to level five. Yep, good. Uh this is the extra stuff. I think it's level six. So this might be the one where we get the ore. Right, is it going to look good? Is it going to look fine? Is it going to... B. 
feels like there's an error message. Feels like I might. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Um, okay. All right. Now, there is a chance that I have created an infinite loop somewhere, and we're we've got a crash, and this is where everything goes goes um, uh, go, go, goes wrong. Okay. So, I actually don't know what's happened. Right. Um, okay. <laughs> um, Y yes, yes, you are right. You are right. Um, oh, okay. Yes, right. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, this is brilliant. Right, I'm going to record this time. This is like when I do actually eventually put a um, video together, I'll explain everything that's going on right now. Um, I forgot to say we want the particular sprites. So this massive long wait was saying, get every single sprite in the game and animate it in a recurring loop, <laughs> all right? So this is like a compilation of every single sprite in the entire game. <laughs> that is why it took so long to load. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like if ever you wanted shame, it's like a here is, here is, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm quite liking this. I don't. I think this is quite funny. Oh, by the way, here is a picture of every single card in the game. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean, we've definitely had our fun here, but um, uh, like, I mean, technically, we can like because this will just cycle and then it will ping pong. So it's going to get to a certain point um, and then like cycle back. <laughs> I mean, it's quite nice. I feel this is a one of those kind of weird things where you can um, kind of actually reflect slightly just be like oh yeah these are all the pictures <laughs> um, that's the bridge they're the tiles these are all the variation of tiles um uh like <laughs> you know what why don't we just chill just enjoy these are all the sprites in the entire game <laughs> oh right yeah this is my clever binary way of cycling through every type tile type which is using like something like 256 different tiles um that's nina <laughs> you know that's the evolution thing um yeah that's the old water one. Oh, we're going through all the enemies now <laughs> yep <laughs> right okay I've, I've had my fun this has been good but we probably better get back to it um right so now i just want to check now Right, now that we've got this ore thing unlocked, I want to see if we do get the ore. So I'm just going to go new game. Right, looks like we're fighting Jimmy Van again. Um, we have got to remember to actually change that. <laughs> I mean, as much as it would be quite funny to leave it in, I think I'd probably better change it. Oh yeah, of course, we've got bolts of the line as well. Oh, yeah, okay. So we're just defeating this monster. We want to just see if we have the ore option. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. That's a problem that I'm just never going to be able to work out because the attack occurred, like the damage was dealt before all the attacks did the thing. Oh, check this out. Oh, brilliant. Okay, I'm loving this already. Okay, all right. To see it casually in the game, I love this. Okay, right, fantastic. 
Right, I mean, we actually, oh, it occurs to me there's still more stuff. Ah, yes, that is the, ah, I love it. Right, I mean, maybe it's only me. I'm just, when I made that little animation with, with the ore, I was just, I'm really happy with that. I just think it looks, it looks cheeky enough. It's small enough. It's just, yeah, love it. Right, so um, now that we have this ore option, why don't we get some maximum life? Yes, and it worked. Okay, and then that's all good. All right, still not perfect, but I still, it's still brilliant. Okay. So we have now unlocked all. Okay. Right. Oh, this would be a good little start, but that's by the by. Um, right now we've got 94 debugs. Do we just pick one at random, delete it? Actually, what if I did like deleted it and then went on to another one, uh, and then I just did a big save afterwards? So we definitely don't need that anymore, and we probably don't need that anymore. Um, uh, oh yes, this is clearly terrible code and needs fixing. I, I agree with you, past self. Um, why does this need to be nulled? Oh yeah, um, that's fine. That makes sense. Um, yes, I know this is terrible code and needs fixing. All right, well, we've got rid of some bits. Um, we. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, we just get rid of it. Alright, I will do a save now. I'm happy with that. Got rid of some debugs. We'll have to have um, a bit of a cycle. So let me do the big thing that I meant to do earlier and I just forgot. That is quite funny because that's why there was such a long pause because it was literally going into this file here. Actually, no, it was going into this these resources and every single one of these sprites um, it picked up. So it got down to about here um, and there was, still, there was still a bunch more. <laughs> but yeah. It's it's nice though. That's good. Um, right, so we want to go. Uh, is it UI? Monster reward stuff. Yeah. So this here, copy path. So let's just let's actually. Oh, hold on. That's a really good point. Um, so it will be on oh this one right here we go uh... um oh it's not that one it's it's actually So I'm trying to work out the exact point in which we're um, creating the little animation. It's this one here, this bad boy. Oh, and I had it there, okay. Right, so level seven, <laughs> yeah. Right, so this is just a bit of a, a learning curve. Uh, if ever you're looking to resource it, uh, load all the resources in a particular place, don't leave it blank. <laughs> I mean, as much as the outcome is hilarious, um, I yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Right, so let's just um, uh, let me just try one more thing. I'm going to lower the level again. We just need to get uh, out of. Um, in fact, I think we can just cheekily just go like this because um, we just want to check what what that actually looks like. Check it looks okay. Um, so our rumple level is that. If we just make that six, and then we can just try it again. Right, this is how it was meant to... Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. You could argue that's a little big. Okay, right. Some, some, something's not quite right there. Um, but we can work that out. Um, let's find out what's, what's, what's going on over here. Um, oh no, okay. I'm not too worried. I think that just happens sometimes. Um, so what we need to do is probably make it a little smaller. Um, so we've got it times six, maybe just times three. Probably fine the first time. Um, let's give that another test. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Let's test. Um... 
but it can't pause at the point. Um, run for level six. Still, probably a little bit big. So let's make it a bit smaller, and I've got to try and work out. It doesn't look like it's completely in the center. Um, yeah, I've just made it 0.5, probably. Oh, that's the size. Move to point local, oh yeah. Change that there. Let's make it a little bit smaller still. like I've done the uh, difficult bit so we're gonna do kind of smaller things there yeah that's good oh right yeah that makes sense to me okay right um, so we still have a little bit left of the ore saga to complete so I'm just gonna type in here entire monster script This is where we're up, where we're looking for. So, um, and part of me feels like we could do all this in a um, uh, like when we're sorting out our monster rewards. Um, we, yeah, we can deal with this differently, right? So that's fine. We can get rid of all this. Yeah, this was a good fun. A fun saga. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of this, but in Dragon Ball Z, there was a um, there's a particular um, like saga which was called the Garlic Junior Saga, which overall everyone didn't really like that much. <laughs> it's one of those which um, uh, I know generally Dragon Ball Z does feel like it drags quite a lot anyway, but it was the one that really felt like it dragged. <laughs> so this isn't the Garlic Junior Saga. This is like, I would say, um, uh, not the Freezer Saga. Um, I'm trying to work out a, like a proportionate Dragon Ball Z Saga that this, this um, compares to. Um, right, so is all active get more bonus. Let's go to this definition. So here, we can get rid of this one there. Oh no, maybe. Yeah, so we do want to get rid of that. Um, yes, that's fine. Um, so we can go back here. So what's happening at this point is we're saying uh, we're trying to see if we're getting uh, a um, uh, a bonus uh, yeah, a bonus thing. So, oh, oh, I see. I think this is. Um... Oh yeah, we've already created it here. So what we could do? No, it doesn't matter. I mean, we can actually. This is all active. We could do this all in this script here if we wanted. Um, right. Oh no, sorry. I've just drunk an entire bottle of water. Right. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Right, ah, oh, rock and roll. Sorry about that. I wanted to make myself some coffee as well. Um, so I've just got some, uh, yeah, so sorry, that's why I, I took a little bit longer. Apologies for the wait. Um, oh, yeah, so um, let's have a little look as to what's going on over here. Um, yeah, I guess this is all fine. Because, um, yeah, part of me feels all of this code we could keep in this Rumpel Level Master script, but. I don't need to. I just kind of it just feels like it makes a bit of sense. Um, yeah, because we could just have where we're sorting literally. Um, um, that's a, I think all of this, all of this code, we could just have one little line saying Rumpel Level Master Script dot sort um, enemy. Uh, sort monster rewards. Um, you know what? I think we should. I think we should. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Um, yeah, because this is like the big daddy script that sorts loads this kind of thing out. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have public void sort monster rewards uh, we might need to put an argument into that at some point in fact I think the main thing we need is int danger level I feel that might be all we need but we might need some more stuff as well so um, so let me go copy this I think I kind of want to keep this. Yeah. Control C. Um, oh, I meant to actually comment it all out as well. So. Um, no. Uh, I want to just make sure I'm getting the correct stuff so I think it's there um, control K C yeah so that's all good there let's go just bring this a little bit into the fray sort monster awards let's go copy all of this um, so actually maybe we should have the um, monster SO underscore what's um what's the s o so that could be the argument we put in um we can clean a lot of this up as well um so we can get rid of that um, 
and yeah. That's, this is why I like it, because we can kind of clean some stuff up and we can probably realise there's a lot of things that we don't need. Um, because another thing that we haven't dealt with is all of the um, other potential outcomes you can get um, like as you progress through the game because I've only got the first like series of rewards yet and that won't be too hard to put in but um... yeah okay that's good so Get or bonus. Yep. Um. Oh. Huh. Let me just check something. Um, over here. Oh, it's probably the bottom, isn't it? Okay. Um, oh yeah, sorry, I was just checking we have made this bit true. <laughs> um, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, now, okay, right, I can relax slightly. Um, go to definition. Um, so yeah, we kind of want to have this. Control C. Control V. And we want to just upgrade these a little bit. So, and... So these rewards are going to be slightly better. So this would be... Um, hope, will that work? I think we tested and that should work, but I want to double check. Um, upgrade a random card. What about upgrade two random cards? Um, this one, I think we can go... Um, instead of 75, maybe 150, so maybe 125 to 175, because I wanted to check, you are guaranteed a shop, there's always going to be a shop as the, like, um, it, on the tile before the main boss, so you can always spend your remaining gold. Um, <laughs> I stole that from Slay the Spire. <laughs> um, I know, I know, I keep I keep talking about Slay the Spire, it's like, it's, it's, they hit so many things correctly that... Um, you know, <laughs> uh, I, I feel kind of embarrassed to be honest. Um, oh yeah, get a specific construct. Do we want to have that construct? Um, yeah, maybe we can still keep that in. Um, max life. We can go twenty to forty. And this one could be maybe thirty. Mm. 35 to 70. Um, that might be too good, but I don't know. So we've got to make things about three times as good. So upgrade three random cards. Trash. Two cards. Um, the gold that you're going to get is going to be, say, um, maybe 175 to 225. So, I mean, this is a good reward to get at the end. Um, yeah. Yeah, and all of these are actually kind of proportionally... They're, they're, it's not... Yeah, sorry, just stir, stir my coffee. Um, yeah, because I, I don't think that's too good. I think that's that's okay. That just gives you a bunch more gold. Um, I'm still kind of like at loggerheads as to whether to put in a random construct. Because I don't think I've got an easy way of having like two constructs at once, but we'll leave it in anyway. Um, uh, gain max life that could be say thirty to sixty. This one could be fifty to one hundred. So that is actually quite that is a good reward to get. Um, yeah, the reason when it comes to trashing cards, as much as it feels good to do three, I just don't think that's going to quite work. 
Okay, so um, that's hopefully all of the um, extra ore rewards that we get. And I kind of want to have a little play um, on uh, the uh, with the like with this new mechanic in place and see if it feels feels good. Because I genuinely don't know. I have no idea. Mm. And it's important to note that um, on cases one, two, on yeah, there's certain ones where you don't get an all reward, so you're not always going to get a choice. But you know, on certain enemies, on certain monsters, you are. Um... Yes. Okay. So that's good. Um, I'll still keep this up. Oh yeah, of course. We actually haven't put this in, so we're going to have um, Rumpel Level Master Script dot Instance dot Sort Monster Rewards. Oh yeah, look. Oh, Sort Monster Rewards, and we're just going to have underscore Monster SO to add as an argument. Um, so let's just see if this whole thing works. So we're going to defeat another monster again. I'm just going to double check that we're on the right level as well. Um, so this, so we, okay, right, I'll do this very quickly. Let's just get one more. Um, oh yeah, that gives us more tile options. Um, I kind of want to give myself as good a boost as I can. Um, yeah, let's go with that. We need to do quite a few tests. So you know what? Um, is it yeah? So we're going to just test to see if it all works. So we're going to have a little bit of a play test as well. See if the new feature. So this is our Benson's OJ. We're giving ourselves all the advantages, and we're doing this on level one. So this shouldn't be too hard. Ah, okay, right. Why does that not work? Um, right. I think I know why, and it's not too difficult to sort out. Um, what we want to do is, in fact, it's really not that hard, I don't think. Um, uh, if we go into uh, too many things open, <laughs> where's the master script? It's not available, is it? Let's go grab it. So, what we are oh, about to sneeze, <coughs> bless me. Um, we're going to go into here. Um, we just want to find out where the where we're actually sorting the um, OJ, <laughs> Benson's OJ, um, and we just want to we need to change a little bit. But that's good. This is why we do these tests. Um, uh, I'm just looking for boosts. Um, there's, there's probably a faster way of of, of finding this. Boost type, yep. Yeah. So if we just go find all the references here, um, it's one of these. So what we can actually do, um, reward int equals that, secondary int equals four, and I think we can just go Control K C comment all that out. So let's give this another shot. So we're going to buy another OJ. Just check that it's working this time, and it's a bit less cumbersome. So you get them all upgraded in one quick window, as opposed to getting one window saying, "Yep, yeah, you've upgraded this one card. Now go back to the other thing." Right, upgrade another one. Um, yeah, that's fine. So uh, buy a boost. Let's get some of that sweet Benson's OJ. Um, oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, again. Right. 
Okay. Oh, it does say just upgrade a random starter, but that's fine. Oh yeah, upgraded one twice. Okay. Should make these these first few fights quite trivial. Um, oh look, more upgrades to come. Let's go. So just to clarify, when we defeat this um, monster, um, we're still we're not going to get any options um, because it's number one and two. Ah, oh, there's the twenty attackers. That's that secures it. Still pondering as to why that um, why that happens, but that's going to be a mystery that you know is going to confuse me for for time to come. Yeah. Let's on one of those. So right, it looks like we can either upgrade three random starter cards or trash two cards. Um, let's go upgrade three random starters. Okay. Oh, that's pretty solid. Right. So, um, this one, again, won't give us uh, any reward, um, any bonus reward. Oh yeah, of course. We don't have totems. Uh, uh, oh, that's exactly enough to kill it, I think, because, yeah, oh, and we get some more extra, that's fine. Right. build or ranger build. I'll live with that, starting with some attackers and defenders. strengthening our line. Like I say, I've, got, I've given myself enough advantages so that this shouldn't be too, too tricky. Um, those. 
some more defenders. Because provided we keep a defensive line, these up rangers will slowly pick and kill him. Um, yeah, keep the ranger supply, keep the armors. Yeah, so now we just need to end turn because the rangers will attack first. Right, okay. <laughs> right, so here's where we got the options. Right, do we get a level one card or ah, it's gotta be it's gotta be this. Yeah. We might be able to see if we because we've got a, some that needs fixing at some point as well. There's a slight error. Right, all oh, choices. Right, do we upgrade one card or do we get a thing? I think we upgrade one card. Um Wrangle in a bit of um, ready camp action. Right. So one of these, one of these, and then twenty defenders. When we've got more mana, we'll do that one later. In fact, I might, it might have been beneficial to do that first, but I'm not sure. Just like the idea of having loads and loads of rangers and just a solid wall of defense so that we can never get through. A bit of sound effects, why not? with the number of moves we use, so maybe one bolt up the line, and then one of these. That's increasing his attack every time, but that's okay. End turn, the brain just kill them off. I'm trying to remember what my upgrade. Oh, Nort cards in the deck. Oh, I made a mistake here. Let's just see what happens if I click this. Okay, <laughs> all right. Some, for some reason that is zero, but that's why we wanted to test these things. So, um, that's okay. Um, yeah, for whatever reason that number came across as zero, uh, and I've kind of got to work out why. So, um, if we go into... Um, so it is on this, but if I go control end, because I know I made this this is the get all button. So go to definition. Oh yeah, here's the problem. We meant that needs to be secondary int uh, equals 
have one. Ah, yeah. Okay, so now one, two, secondary end equals two. So the reward is saying how many of a particular, like, that's saying how many upgrades are you going to make on one particular card, and that's saying how many upgrades are there going to be in total. Um, and so I know, yeah, I, I see what where I've gone wrong there. So here, um, that needs to be one, and that needs to be secondary int equals three. And what we should do is, because I don't particularly like, I mean, the whole construct thing, um, I kind of want to change this slightly. Control C, Control V, um, and go one. So it's only going to happen once, but we're going to upgrade twice. So um, the reason being is upgrading one particular level one card all the way up to two you could strongly argue is about as good as upgrading two cards randomly um and here again we're kind of like looking to spice a few things up as we go so why don't i have um Upgrade card. So that way, like you either up, you can get a chance to upgrade two cards randomly, or pick and choose a card to upgrade. Um, let's go. Um, go find all the times these are called because I'm not sure all the changes that I need to make. Um, I don't know. I think I might just just get away with just kind of changing this to one and kind of hoping it works. We can we can easily we can easily experiment with that though. In fact, let's go. Oh yeah, I'll only need to stop the game for the time being, but I think all the data is saved anyway. Um, let's let's just. Yeah, because I do kind of want to test to see if that works. So, so control end. I think we're on. I'm just going to kind of force just here to just have upgrade card. I think this should work because I don't think any, this reward int matters too much. Um, but I want to just check that it works. So hopefully soon when we get to an enemy that will give us, grant us these rewards. Oh no, no, yeah, the next enemy should hopefully give us the just flat upgrade a card, choose an upgrade card. Um, and I kind of want to just see if it works. So we're going to go resume. Because that's the whole thing that I kind of forgot to do. That's why we're going through as well. We're sort of testing things as we go. So it looks like everything has worked well. The transition of moving it from the entire monster script into the Rumple Town script has worked. Uh, Rumple Master script. Ah, yeah, I love this variation. This is brilliant. Love it. Right, so let's go heal up. Um, and we can't quite afford an upgrade, which is a shame. Um, is there anything here that I want? No, I think we can just skip leave for the time being. Got a level one card. And a cheap conscript is always nice. Right. Okay, let's 
get these ranges on the go and cross the lines. I don't actually have a particularly good deck here. There's not that much that synergizes. Uh, that's okay. Let's go get a cheap conscript. And get full snipers. This doesn't look like quite as... Hopefully, I think this will still be... should be okay. Um... So this one won't be an ore, but we just want to check that the upgrade works. that we're kind of like working out problems as we go so this run is such a sort of diagnostic run it's like fixing problems as we go um, Yeah, it's like, because there's other ideas which are partly, like, there's other ideas I've got in my head. Things like, for example, stealing, um, like, having a monster move that steals one of your highest level, um, like, leveled up cards. Or stealing two of them. And you need to get a certain amount of damage on him to then get the cards back in your deck or something. Right, so. Ooh. Oh, okay, this is actually the last of the first phase so that's okay upgrade one random card from the deck oh yes yes please <laughs> admittedly that's not the most overwhelming one to upgrade so ooh, upgrade two random cards let's go yep yep Obviously, I wouldn't have chosen those cards to upgrade. That's why it's like, say, upgrading two random ones is a maybe about as good as upgrading uh, one specific card. Yeah. This bad boy on the line. Not any good. I think we actually would rather focus on defenders and get as many ranges as we can. this that's giving us five max hit points at the end of each battle as well. Enraging, but I think we'll be able to kill him before he does anything too courageous.
like I say, a very diagnostic um, playthrough this time. a good thing to know so um, here we've got gain one gold um, when as much as we've got the ability to um, upgrade um, a uh, like random cards we haven't been able to have like have like upgrade a specific card in this particular format yet um, but we're gonna get to the end of this move to the next place um, I'll skip for the time being. <laughs> Although that was actually a level two, that probably would have been quite good, but that's fine. Right, um, and then we can just go exit game. So what we need to do is um, essentially this thing here. We're gonna we're gonna make it so it works. I don't think it'll be too hard. Um, see where it would go. Uh, uh, yeah, we just did a little search to find um, how to upgrade. I think this might be the one actually. I think this is it. So all we really need to do is have Case DM reward potentials dot upgrade card. Um, and then go to definition over here. Right, so this reward here, we just want to check that when you upgrade a card, um, Oh no, I've put it in the wrong place. I've put it in the wrong place, that's okay. Um, I've got to put it uh, in the same place that we'd put like Trasher card, I think. Uh, <laughs> just got to work out. Let me try and work out. Um, control, control V. I just want to find all the references here again. Um, so we don't need it there. Not there. How do cards get upgraded again? <laughs> like, how do you actually choose it? Um, so that's all fine. Because um, there's a certain point somewhere where it sort of... Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to... Um, let me just get rid of that. We don't need it there. Um... But we need to just we need to go on to individual level rewards and then work it out from there. Uh, 
individual. Uh, no, monster individual reward. I think this one here. Let's go look at this script. And I think it's I think it's here that we've got the where we can tell it what to do. Um, IRC. So here. C dot uh, yeah okay so here is where we're saying um, uh, like upgrade a card so what we want is um, this we actually want most of what's happening here so control C control V this will be upgrade a card. And I guess we keep it blue. Upgrade. A card in your deck. Um, I think this is just, what's, what would this be? Upgrade card, upgrade card. So that's just upgrade, oh, spelled that wrong. Upgrade a card. Right, okay, fantastic. Um, so now, um, now that we've got it this far, um, we've just kind of got to work out that I think, I think that's, that might be all we need to do, but there might be one more thing that we need to check out. So that's what we're after. Find all these references. Um, There. This one. Yes, okay. Um, so I think this is the bit which we're looking for. So, trash card. Yeah, we need to do this just change a little bit of the text so that will be upgrade card there and then <laughs> right we're just gonna change this to deck script boy <laughs> okay uh, here we're gonna put boy at the end there all right why why am I putting so much effort why am I changing all these names it's because when you're doing a switch statement and you introduce a variable, like in this case, I can introduce the deck checker. Um, uh, we, and then we, and the next bit on the um, switch statement um, is saying like, if for some reason you can't introduce a variable here as well. I don't fully understand why, because um, we've got a break thing, so only one or the other can ever ever happen, but it's not too much effort for me to just change um, this name here and I believe let's just get this confirmed go to definition upgrade so we want that to be number zero um, so no. uh, oh yeah there we go. Yeah. so I think that it just needs to be zero. Um, and what we could do as well, while we're here, um, yeah, uh, we've got the ability to trash two cards at once as well, which we can actually experiment with. So what I would like to do is um, have something like IRC, IRC dot reward it actually know that yeah because I can actually make it either the reward in or yeah but I think we can make it the reward in so that's fine so now find all these references here we get the ability to trash one card 
four trash two cards. So zero is upgrade for something else. One is um, trash one card, two is trash two cards. Um, so hopefully, uh, and let's go put that in as well, um, which will be and somewhere over here. Let's go put in, yeah, this rewarding doesn't actually, we don't really need this at all, I don't think. I think we can just leave that as it is. Um, but let's add a trash two cards as well, so we can experiment that with that. Um, trash card, comma, reward int equals um, two, and these we actually just want to flat get them. False. So this is just forcing us to have more rewards, so that we can experiment. Um, okay. So now we're going to resume game, defeat a monster. See if all these new things that we've added work. So this, we've just got to get this one out of the way. I'm looking to win the fight quickly. So if I just do one of these. Looks like we're going to be taking a bit of pain because he's attacking at range. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> right. It's like, yeah, the thing with this boss is it attacks at range, which is a real pain, but it's not super tough when it arrives. Um, oh, I can't, I can't. But again, we need to win as quickly as we can, so I'm just putting as many attacks as I can.
Um, yeah, apologies for that. <laughs> right. Um, we might need to actually start defending now. Um, it's enough defense to survive, and we want to get more ranges. Oh, I hope I do kill this thing. <laughs> oh no, he's going to actually, he's going to probably get through to my ranges. I didn't think this through super well. Okay, we've still got most of our ranges intact. Right, as many defenders as we can get. That's going to help. Let's start with this. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> this is going to be really frustrating if I don't actually win this. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think this is actually enough defenders. Oh, I should have done this. Uh, no, that's fine. Okay. Right, so we're still going to take a bit of damage. Um, maybe not. No, only one. Only one. And he's enraging. Okay, all right. <laughs> I definitely didn't. I didn't respect. I didn't respect him. I didn't respect him. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, all right. I literally. I did not respect this boss whatsoever. <laughs> I was just like, no, it's fine. Just quickly kill it. And it's like it's actually now proving a little bit more of a challenge. I think I'll be fine, but. Um, oh god, is he getting... He's, okay, he's upping his attack even more. If he does actually... Okay, 51. Alright, this is now getting into slight danger territory. <laughs> um, we can... Three men left. Don't think I can kill him this turn. I think we want as many defenders as we can get. Um, and I guess we get some more rangers, but we are still taking some punishment here. Okay. All right. Yes, I know. I think we just... No, we don't quite survive, but um, we only take a little bit of damage. That's fine. Okay, all right, fine. That's... <laughs> it's always that sort of comical moment of, like, when you're thinking, I just want to defeat this. <laughs> um, I've given myself all the advantages <laughs> there are. Um, right, so we're fine now. We can in turn rangers come over and kill him. Okay, right. So this this is why we did this, so we could experiment with, with this here. Okay, so that and that. Okay, upgrade a card in your deck. So we can just pick, say, Sniper Team. Yep. And then uh, Trash A card in your deck. I should have had... I should, it should be saying Trash 2, but we can check it out. Uh, one... Two cards in your deck. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that's um, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, there is a little thing that we need to fix. Um, haven't worked out how we can do that, but yeah, the issue is, is as soon as it moves up, it doesn't have the chance to create it again. But getting a level two card, we get smash camp. Okay, right. So we're sort of fixing things as we go, which I like. I am I'm happy with that. Um, I don't need anything here. Um, and we'll stop. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Okay, so where we're going now is. We just need to try and make sure that the this kind of works. Um, so, um, I think this, yeah. So it does say trash too. <coughs> So, yeah, we, this is, yeah, like, this is interesting because there's different code, that, there's code somewhere that does deal with this, but it's just not here. <laughs> um, so, uh, we need to kind of follow, follow the path. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, if we just kind of follow this all the way through, Going to definition. So it trash two cards. So card type at this point. So it's going into here. Go to this definition. And we need to work out. Um, Yeah, there's two, so the number of goes is that, and it's saying choose two cards to trash. Um, then four in prison one. Right, let's have a look. Um, that's sorting out all the cards that are trashable. I'm not sure if I've quite got the focus here. <laughs> I think, yeah, I don't think it's too hard. We just got to make sure that if one of the monster rewards is trash two cards, um, that you actually get to trash two cards. Because there, it looked like I could only trash one. Um, and I was kind of hoping that it would all fix, it would all work organically. But I think that's, I mean, that's a small thing that I'm probably going to do off stream. Um, This, this does make sense. Um, okay. But yeah, I think I, I, I'm going to leave this open. I think like my, I, I can only do three hours because I'm absolutely exhausted today. But um, thank you uh, very much for sticking around. This won't, this won't take too long. Like, like I say, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's like my brain is just a little bit too caffeinated <laughs> and foggy at the moment for me to work this out. So I'll, I'm going to probably end the stream a little early here. But thank you very, very much for sticking about. It's been absolutely brilliant today. I will actually remember to press stop streaming. <laughs> That's quite important. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys later. Mm.